This video is sponsored by DistroKid. Follow the VIP link in the description down below to get 7% off an already amazing price to distribute your music to the world. Googling the best studio headphones soon reveals lists containing the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro. But whilst these headphones introduced 39 years ago receive much love, they do have a few flaws. Enter the new DT770 Pro X limited edition. This is the answer to those flaws. Or is it? Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. To celebrate 100 years of Bayer Dynamic, they've just released the new DT770 Pro X Limited Edition headphones. Now, it's no surprise that they would choose to celebrate by kind of improving upon what I'm guessing are some of their best selling headphones of all time, the DT770 Pros. Notice, Pros, Pro X's try to keep track. Now, it's difficult to talk about these new headphones without also talking about some headphones they released in 2021. These are the DT700 Pro X's, not 770, 700. Okay. Now, before we get into what's different about these new headphones, I really think we need to quickly recap on the DT770 Pros. The good old DT770 Pros have proven themselves over the years to be great studio headphones. Now to be a great studio headphones, there's a few qualities you must have. The first is build quality. You want these things to last for a few years and you want them to stand up to some abuse in the studio. Sometimes they'll be dropped or trodden on, etc. And people have found over the years that these do stand up very, very well. That's not to say that parts of them don't wear out. That distinctive gray velour pad that you can see here, that tends to wear out after some years and can easily be replaced. The same is true for the cushioning on the inside of the headband. Often people find they need to replace those after a few years. But overall, these stand up very well. Now, the other quality that you need for a great studio headphone is comfort. Again, we get back to those velour pads. A lot of people really love these in terms of comfort. Now, overall, you do find, however, that people say these get uncomfortable after, say, a couple of hours or so. Now, importantly, I would suggest that that's OK because these are closed back headphones. They're designed for tracking or recording. They're designed to keep the sound in while you're recording, say, a vocal or an acoustic guitar. And I wouldn't suggest you do any tracking for more than I don't know, an hour before you take at least a 10 minute break or something like that, maybe up to two hours. But certainly at that point, I'd suggest it's time for a glass of water or something and a little break from your headphones. So I don't find that to be terribly important personally. Now, the final thing, and I'm guessing you hope I would mention this, is the sound. With studio headphones, we want them to be honest. What do I mean by that? Well, consumer headphones tend to be hyped, especially in the low end. They like that thumping bass and in the high end as well. We don't really want that with studio headphones. We want to hear what the mix is really like so that we can correct it. Now, what I personally find with these headphones is the low end is great, actually, because um, it's honest. It's, it's not hyped in any way. OK, now the high end or the mids are nicely detailed as well. So I find that helpful. Having said that, they're not really for mixing. They are for tracking. So it's nice to get a good representation of the sound, but it doesn't need to be super accurate for tracking headphones. But if you were going to use these for mixing as well, that may be important to you. And they're pretty good in that way. OK, so what's wrong with these headphones? What do people not like about them? Well, first of all, it's very, very obvious is this cable. It's attached. You can't detach it. People don't like that. They want detachable cables, things that they can swap out, perhaps improve the quality of, etc. So that's been complained about over the years. And then the fact that the cable that comes with it, standard, is a curly cable. Now, I have in the past asked my viewers about their preference uh, between curly and straight cables. And I have to say, although some people do like curly cables, the overwhelming number of people tend to like straight cables. Now, for me, when I'm tracking, and these are tracking headphones, 
a curly cable can be a real pain sometimes, especially say I'm recording an acoustic guitar and that cable is swinging around. Sometimes it'll hit the chair and make a knocking sound or even bang up against the, the guitar. So look, curly cables, not nice in my opinion for tracking. So how have they addressed these issues? So they certainly attempted to address these issues in 2021 when they released the DT700 Pro Xs. Gone was the heavy curly attached cable and instead these use a straight three meter detachable cable. They also changed the design of the pads a little bit. Yes, there's still this sort of gray velour, but they're a little bit smaller in terms of diameter, but quite a lot thicker. I personally find these quite a lot more comfortable to wear over extended periods of time. But there's two big differences between these and the old DT770 Pros. First of all, these have a different driver. These have the new Stellar 45 driver. Now, when you combine a different driver with a different sort of physical design, a different fit, different pads, etc., then you do get a different sound. I find that these are a little bit sort of more refined. Um, they're a little bit smoother in the low end and the high end isn't quite as harsh. I guess that's not to say they're definitely better. That could be a matter of opinion, but they're certainly different. Now, one other thing which is really, really different between these two headphones is the price. The original DT770 Pros currently cost $169 on Sweetwater, whereas the newer DT700 Pro Xs actually cost $269. That's a significant price difference, which may be really important to you. So what about the new kids on the block? The reason I told you about these two sets of headphones first was to help you understand why I think these new DT770 Pro X Limited Edition headphones are actually a kind of a hybrid between these two models. Now, in terms of physical characteristics, they're much, much closer to the original DT770 Pros. In fact, I would guess, although I'm not sure about this, that some of these parts are actually interchangeable. For example, these gray velour uh, pads here definitely seem like they may be interchangeable because they're so, so similar. Uh, in terms of feel and size, okay? The other thing that I think may be interchangeable is the padding on the inside of the headband. They look to be exactly the same kind of fit to the headband. However, on these new models, there's this kind of a notch on the cushioning which comes with them, and that is to help them be more comfortable for extended periods of time. And of course, these have the detachable straight three meter cable. I think they learned their lesson there. So what do they have in common with the DT700 Pro Xs? Well, the drivers. These have the same Stellar 45 drivers as the much more expensive DT700 Pro Xs. So what happens when you take the newer drivers, but you put them in the old physical design of the DT770 Pros? Well, we'll talk about that in a moment, but there's one really important thing we need to talk about, and that is price. As I mentioned earlier, the original DT770 Pros are $169 on Sweetwater, and there's this big jump up to the DT700 Pro Xs. They go up to $269. Well, thankfully, these new limited edition headphones are just $199 on Sweetwater, so there's not a big jump up from the old models, but you do get at least that detachable cable and the new drivers. But yeah, let's talk about sound. Well, actually, before we do talk about sound, I'd like to mention it would be a terribly sound decision of yours to follow the VIP link in the description down below to our sponsor, DistroKid. If you follow that link, you're gonna get 7% off your first year of membership, and that's gonna make it super easy and pretty cheap to release your music to platforms like 
Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Google Play, etc. Just follow that link in the description down below. Oh, one part of the sound I haven't addressed yet is loudness. The old DT770 Pros came in two basic flavors, 80 ohms and 250 ohms. I've got the 250 ohms versions here, and definitely with these, you need a kind of a decent headphone amp to drive them to a decent volume, okay? They can suffer a little bit with the lower end audio interfaces, which don't drive them quite hard enough in some circumstances. So that's definitely a consideration with these headphones. Now with the new DT770 Pro X Limited Editions, they're actually 48 ohms. So they're much more usable across, across a wider range of devices. Even with mobile devices and things, these are actually gonna work pretty well. But overall with the sound, I would say you should consider if you're buying these, especially if you're coming from the older versions, that there is a slight difference in sound with these. Now it's much closer, it seems, when these new drivers are in the old housing. It's interesting, in my opinion, how much the housing has an impact and the fit, etc., has an impact on the sound. But in my opinion, I've listened to all three of them, one after the other, um, volume matched, and my feeling definitely is that these are quite a lot closer to the original sound, even though they've got the new drivers. So in conclusion, if you love the old DT770 Pros, but are not keen on the attached cable, all of those things, then it's definitely worth considering these new headphones. I just want you to be aware that there is a slight difference in sound. They're not exactly the same in terms of sound, although not a million miles apart. But again, and sorry to repeat myself on this, these are primarily designed for tracking. They're enclosed headphones, um, so probably, um, having perfect sound is not the most important thing at that point you just really want the performer to be able to hear the mix you know pretty clearly that they're singing along with um when you look at them in terms of price then i think they're a really very very good price um especially when you consider that they've got the same drivers as the much more expensive dt 700 pro x's let me know what you think in the comments down below that certainly helps the channel out a lot and if you've got nothing else to say just say hi to me in the comments down below it's always nice to get to know you uh, if you'd like to help out, help out further then definitely subscribe and like and i'll see you in the next video